Hi, I'm Nadine Blair and I wrote a book and I want to read a little part for you encouraging you to go out and purchase the book. It's available on Amazon and they deliver worldwide. Kindle version for those of us who like to read from our device or you can get the hard copy. To all those who helped on the journey of writing the book, thank you no nof nof. But here's a little excerpt that I want to read and a poem that I wrote some time ago. Know this, we have been given time. Value every second and every minute. Let God work in you. All the things that you need to correct, do that now. I'm scrambling to finish this book to finish songs that God has given me. And truth be told, it should not have been so. I should have been on the beat and running in time with God. See, I too delay and wait. I too, yeah, me, Nadine. I too struggle with believing fully in things God has said do. And yes, I've been doing my go to God again trips and thank God for his mercy. He has extended to me grace, grace to make it right. And fortunately, God is more merciful than people. So here is this poem now that the Lord gave me. And this goes on. So by the book and you'll hear whatever else I had to say. But I wanted to share this poem with you. It's called Tick Tock. Woke up this morning and it was a brand new year. The feeling of newness was so very clear. But this one was different. This one was not the same. This new year had double digits and had us all singing again. Double for my trouble, a year of plenty, oh. 2020 vision and a bag of promises more. This year, some are got married. We are gonna get back what the enemy stole. This year was extra special to all those things we've heard before. Woke up this morning. And I had a new attitude. My gym workout plan was in check and so was my diet too. My plans are falling into place. Well, at least the ones I focused on. Boy, why every year must catch us failing at our plan. Then came time for Lent and I took on the challenge. Daniel fast, here I come. Well, I'll do what I can manage. Some days, boy, I just about to give up and hang it all in. But this year I decided, 21 days, I must win. I watched as persons vacillated between pressing on and going through and simply and easily giving up on all the tasks and things to do. What dress to wear, what suit to don, what haircut or style should I choose? The nails on flick, the shoes on flick. Look out world, I'm coming through. Woke up this morning and I heard the news of some outbreak far, far away. Oh no, bless their hearts. I'll pray for them. Jehovah, please make a way. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Time, what will you reveal? But wait, wasn't it just one little tone? And now it's crossing borders. This can't be real. I'll pray for them. It's just so sad. Let me go back to life for me. What's my next event? Oh, a worship night? Oh yes, praise God. Praise Jesus, my King. But wait, the plot thickens. Why can't these people listen? Don't they hear the news over and o'er? Tick tock goes the clock. Now souls are gone by the score. Woke up this morning and this thing jumped across the sea. Come in like this virus I run after. I won't even say it. No, it can't be. It moved from far, far, far in to a place near to we. Tick tock goes the clock. Father, how could this be? I remember the morning, the week before, I kept hearing, sing, be magnified. So early, Sunday morning, March 8th to be exact, this was a part of my worship. This was a part of my cry. And then I heard it loud and clear. Jehovah God wanted us to big him up. Exalt him, lift him high with our praise, magnify him. We just could not stop. That was a Sunday and all was set for the next event I had to check. I was going to a school to chill with the youths and lead some soul to Christ with the truth. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Thick, thick, gets the plot. 
woke up one morning and everything changed. Events got canceled. No one was calling my name. Hello, hello. That thing that started 2017 miles away had somehow reached our borders. Someone, please make it go away. Since that day, that dark, dark day, church door lock. I'm a good, good ear and nails. Took a vacay. Now, I don't bother to worry about the dress and the heels. In fact, I saw so flat smear wear and masks. My makeup, less face to conceal. Woke up one morning and in the midst of the seas, I found myself thankful for some unobvious things. God actually make me stop, write brops in our space, to check myself, to introspect, to upon his presence, gaze. Telling a lie, I wonder when will we ever go back to what we knew as normal? Or will we surrender to this new and forget what we know as formal? The biggest thing for me is, is my heart right with God? Have I done all he wants me to? To not lie, adapt me the pan. For if he comes today or tomorrow or the next 10 years from now, our position must always be to live or die for Christ all out. Woke up this morning, nothing else mattered. Can't hug no one anymore. Wonder how many persons I could have hugged, loved, or forgave. All the things we could have done before we woke up that morning. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Eternity waits now. That's the real stock. When after all of this, after all is said and done, there is more on the other side of waking up to conundrums. But one day, we will dream our last dream and begin to live for Christ for eternity. But let us in this moment stop before the last tick of the eternity clock and ensure that our souls are ready. COVID can't take us from that ultimate journey. So hold on tight during this abnormal storm until we wake up to eternal morns. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick. Jesus is coming soon, be ready. Live ready, forgive easy, and live love. I'm Nadine Blair. My book is out. Go get it. It will be a blessing to you. Thanks for watching.